Alright, what up, Aries? <clears throat> I was gonna try to do like an interlude with a general reading, and the universe was like, nah, we working on Aries today. Alright, so I think you're the one that needs the message. <laughs> um, dude, I hope you need this message. I feel like you need this message. I don't know. I feel more right about this reading than the last couple ones I tried. I went through an entire reading before I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not reading for narcissists. I just ain't doing it. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just gonna go and see what Aries is up to. It helps it. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I saw her in the thing and I was like, oh my gosh, she's right behind me. Okay. Um. <laughs> You'll probably see several cats just chilling around. I love cats. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see what Aries is up to. The energy we got for you. Oh my gosh, thank God. You're not a narcissist. <laughs> You're doing some work, okay. Fuck. <laughs> lot of them flying out. <laughs> Who are you? Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to show the first cards that came to me was the star. Okay. Um, this is also Aquarian energy, right? This is somebody who is doing, focused on the hustle, if you will, right? This is like the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so you're not starting a new job, but you've got the Page of Pentacles, so you're definitely working on balancing and budgeting your uh, the finances, right? It's like you're not looking for a new endeavor, but you're definitely looking at ways to um, make the most of the money you're getting, right? Um, then we have the Emperor. Mm hmm my boy, I love this. I always want to imagine that I'm always sitting in the Emperor energy, but I'm not always, <laughs> to be real. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is somebody who's standing in their own light, their own authority, kind of like leading, leading life themselves. This does not necessarily mean it has to be a guy. Um, and tarot gender is not really a thing. It's all about the energy you're sitting in. Like I said, I like to always be sitting in emperor energy. Um, maybe not so much empress because not anything against the empress, but that's more of a, uh, <clears throat> a, uh, like I imagine that more of like the mother figure, you know, like, um, but not in the sense of like a mother, but like somebody who is just like, a lot of people need them, right? I mean, a lot of people need the Emperor too, but the Emperor is also like, I stand alone over here. You might have to work with all of my knights and my prince and all this before you get to me, right? You're gonna have to do a lot to get to me. Um, so I like that energy. And then we've also got the Hermit energy. So this is somebody who is just kind of like focused on introspection, right? Focused on finding that light within star energy, right? This person is a star. I gotta tell you. Whoever you are, you are a motherfucking star, right? You're in this emperor energy. You're in this hermit energy. Like, you're in the page of pentacles energy. I like this. This is somebody really focused on the, their damn self right now. And we've got the king of swords and you're cutting out any fake ass offer. <laughs> like, you're looking for real authentic shit. And if somebody's coming at you, some fake shit, you're like, oh, bye. Bye. This is also another energy I like to sit in. Um, am I doing my own routine right now? I don't know. <laughs> like, um, yeah, these are like, these are my dudes, okay? This is, like, I'm considered a divine masculine because this is the energy I'm always trying to be in, right? I'm always trying to be that king of swords, emperor energy. I'm like hella jealous right now, okay? Just saying. <laughs> But not in a bad way. Um, so then we have the magician in reverse, right? <clears throat> and this is like, you're not al allowing anybody to create illusion for you, right? You're not allowing anyone to mislead you or throw you for a loop. You're just kind of like, I want that real shit. 
all the damn time. Fuck this. You know? I love it. <clears throat> um, the chariot, right? So the movement's gonna be happening here. Um, obviously not in your job. Maybe a vacation is coming up. Maybe you're just gonna like take a little trip outside of town. You know, the chariot doesn't necessarily mean like you're gonna up and uproot your whole life and move. I mean, it can mean that, but it's like, it also means that like, there's movement, right? Where you are, it's still the hermit. You're still in introspection and stuff. But maybe you might choose to step outside of that for a little adventure in the near future. Um, Ace of Cups, bro. Oh my god. I love you, okay? I love you. This is awesome. You are giving yourself love at this time. Um, like actual genuine love. You ain't putting up with no bullshit, right? Like, you are a motherfucking star. I'm gonna cry. I'm so happy. This is like, this is real love. When I see love on the board, this is the realest love. This is like, I don't need validation from fucking anybody. I love my damn self, <laughs> you know, oh, I love it. I love this very much, okay? <laughs> um, I don't even feel like I need clarifiers. I'm gonna just throw on another deck. I feel like we are very clear on who the fuck you are, right? You're the motherfucking emperor. Um, this is very good energy. I love it. All this self-love, all this, like, just focus on being the best version of yourself. That's what I see here. Like, you ain't worried about what anybody else is doing. You're not concerned about all of this trivial bullshit. You're just like, those people come in trying to be deceitful and mischievous in your life, and you're just like, no, nah, goodbye. I know who the real ones are, and that's who I'm, that's who I'm holding up for. Okay, and then we got the devil in reverse. This definitely fits with this magician in reverse. Maybe that's what we need to clarify on. Um, this is definitely like energy of the past, I'm feeling. Like, this is somebody that you've dealt with who... Who's really manipulative. Controlling, they wanted to control the situation, the outcomes, everything. Um... They were just kind of like trying to weave you into their bullshit and you're just like no no i'm the emperor <laughs> didn't you remember <laughs> you can't fuck with me um <clears throat> yeah then we've got the five of cups disappointment i feel like this could be a friendship um because nothing in here is implying that it's romantic it could be friendship family whatever um <clears throat> But you're definitely disappointed. Like, you had to start seeing some shit about this person that you didn't want to see. Um, things came to light. Maybe it's a roommate. Because we got the chariot, you know? Like, maybe that's why you're focused on budgeting and balancing out your paychecks and all that. Maybe, I mean, that's probably why you're also sitting in the King of Swords energy, like, trying to cut out energy. Um, because, because of this situation. Like, you're trying to get away from that. Um, I mean, like, you, yourself, you're doing amazing. It's this energy, you're like, this shit does not fit in my life. It does not belong. clarify this magician. Who is that? Who that?
partner verse. So this is probably somebody who fancies himself an artist, but you never see them creating, right? You never see them actually um, making art. Maybe they, they've lost inspiration or something, but they're definitely not sitting in the energy of the artist that they claim to be. That could be part of the illusion. Um, then we have the Eon. So this is a karmic thing. This is like, um, you guys probably met in a past, no, you did meet in a past life. That's what this means. Like, you've met in a past life, probably several. <clears throat> and, um, lifetime after lifetime, you've had this connection. Where they're like magnets right? It's like, you're just like, you don't know what the pull is, you don't know why you feel so strongly, and then, um, you get drawn in, and then they're on their bullshit, right? <clears throat> um, the thing about karmic relationships, and that doesn't necessarily mean that they're always romantic, just throwing that out there, it could just be a lifetime after a lifetime after a lifetime of dealing with this energy, and, um, <clears throat> means that you got to learn the lesson okay you have to tell yourself that your debt is paid <laughs> okay your karmic debt is paid um and then you have to go step into your king of swords energy okay into your emperor energy i <laughs> hear you and you stay there you don't let them fucking stray you any which way. Anytime you feel an emotional pull or, you know, anything by this person, retract. Okay? Because that's how they're going to manipulate you to stay into the cycle. Um, <clears throat> that's how narcissists manipulate to stay in your cycles. Is they, they'll fuck with your emotions. They'll try to... They'll be like, they'll give you soft stories, they'll lie, they'll weave illusion, they'll do all this stuff, right? Uh, <clears throat> I definitely feel like you're just, you're disappointed with that energy and you don't want to deal with that again. Um, yeah, and I don't feel like you want to step into the next life dealing with this either. Okay, I think you're just kind of like, done. Hella fucking dead. So, I mean... Because you're definitely dealing with a narcissist, which means that you're definitely an empath. I think you should look up how to get a narcissist to back off um, and just do that. <laughs> um, typically, they need, <clears throat> they need energy, right? They're energy vampires, so they will, um, they need you to give them juice something to feed off of, right? Um, they'll try to get an emotional rise out of you in any way that they can. The key is to not do that. <laughs> Don't become a source for them. Don't let them sway you in one way or the other emotionally. Because um, they don't control your emotions. As much as they want to have dominion and control in your life, they don't control you in that way. Um, nor should they. I'm gonna throw on some orc cards for you. Um, but if they try to, like, get you into an argument or whatever, shut your damn mouth. I know you have something good to say. They know you have something good to say. That's why they're doing it. They want to get that rise out of you. Um, <clears throat> shut your damn mouth. <laughs> Don't say a thing. <laughs> like, let them sit and look stupid, okay? Let them try whatever they gotta do. Let them look stupid, okay? There's no fucking reason to feed into their antagonism. <clears throat> Um, yeah, don't, don't give them shit. Like, and if this is an energy that you're trying to, like, completely cut off, 
give them the serious straight face all the time. Stop laughing at jokes. Stop, you know, they'll, any kind of emotional response is something to be fed upon. That's the scary thing about narcissists, is they will just feed all the fucking anything. Um, so let's see. problems you got this um obviously you got this <laughs> you're a star what are you doing dealing with this fucking narcissist i feel like to every angel there's a demon right and you just gotta fucking let the demon be the demon <laughs> get on with your bad self you know um then we've got oak and doors right so you're you're definitely like going through like a little bit of a storm here um but you're gonna be fine <laughs> You will be fine. If the wars start coming, just hold your fucking ground. You got this. Um, needs before wants. Yeah, this really goes hand in hand with that page of pentacles. Because you're definitely like focused on, alright, what do I need? What can I do to get myself into this place of not being around this energy here? <laughs> you know? Um... Nature of the beast. Um, how I would read this is that you feel like you can't, you can't like fully be yourself around this energy. It's like they pull something out in you that you don't even like. Um, they pull out an energy in you that you aren't even like a big fan of. And you're just kind of like, why? <laughs> you know, like, but, and, you know, like, that's, that's the thing. You, like, you need to get back to you, yourself, by yourself. <laughs> I mean, and like I said before, there's no, like, cards saying that this is a romantic connection at all. Um... Fuck, this could be, like, a sibling connection, for all I know. Um, just somebody really close to you that you feel like you need to move away from. Like, it's somebody that you, <clears throat> you feel is, like, putting you in a bad spot, um, emotionally. You feel like, like, they're taking away the nature of who you are when you're there. Like, you're like, man... When this person's not here, I'm doing fucking great. I, I'm not this guy or girl or whatever. Sorry, there's a lot of masculine energy here. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, so you could be a girl. Um, but <clears throat> that's another thing, too, that kind of gives me the roommate vibe is that it is too masculine. And this is definitely adult energy. This isn't, like, children. This isn't, like... You're stuck at mama's home, you know? Um, I mean, you've got all this independence. You you take care of yourself. You're, you know? Um, I don't know. I feel like whatever this energy is, though, it's like you just need freedom from it. You just need to no longer feed into it. It's fucking me up, bro. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. I like that song. Rescue me. That just kind of came into my head. Like, while well, I'm, like, looking at these cards. Like, like I feel you just kind of, like, how do I release this? And there are ways. Um... You just literally have to shut off any energetic output, <laughs> like, around this person. The second they see so much as a smile, they're like, <laughs> you know? So it's like, you really have to fucking, like, you have to shut it down, bro. In the hard way. You have to do it the hard way. Because it is karmic. 
you have to endure the storm. This is something you've done lifetime after lifetime. That's why they feel so damn familiar to you. That's why you just clicked immediately, right? There is an instant connection, and you're like, well, we're best fucking friends. And then it's like, inside your soul, you feel, you feel their energy now. And you're like, they ain't who I thought they were. You know? They're putting on a front about who they are. Uh, <clears throat> and it disappointed you. Right? Because you wanted to see the best in them. You wanted to see them coming through as their best self. Well, the thing about narcissists is they mirror you, too. Like, they'll, they'll <clears throat> show up in, in your energy, right? And then, and then they can't hide who they really are on the inside. It's like, it just keeps popping up. Um, and they can try. Well, no damn well who this motherfucker is, <laughs> you know? And it's like, I feel like you've just seen too damn much. Like, you're just kind of like, I've just seen too damn much of you. Man, if this is a roommate situation, and you're like tied to the lease with them, really focus on saving up some money to break that lease. Um the universe to provide you with a door, a pathway to get the fuck out, um, to release you from this. Um, I don't know if you're into witchcraft, <laughs> but binding spells, bro, my brother, my, my sister, whoever you are, I keep, I feel like with masculine energy here, and I just want to tell you, binding spells are amazing. Um, it doesn't necessarily, like, I mean, it just, it binds them from fucking with your energy. Like, they can't get to you anymore. They can't, like, siphon you anymore. You become untouchable on a whole other level. Um, and it's nothing that you've done against them. It's not like a curse or a hex or anything. They might feel like it is because they're like, my source is not going to let me drain them dead. But then it's like, yeah, of course you're not going to let them fucking drain you dead. <laughs> like, you're doing this for your own damn sanity. You're doing this for your own free will, for your own, like, you need to do this. So protect yourself. Protect yourself, bro. Get every bit of Himalayan salt you can and fucking start protecting salt baths, okay? Um, sage. <laughs> Crystals, all the crystals. Get obsidian. Um, obsidian's a good one. Um, I mean, that's volcanic glass, but really, like, you're gonna need some shit. Like, think about witches. Like, they, like, they did all kinds of shit to protect their energy. Because as soon as you open up, if you are, like, highly, like, um, energetic, like, like magic. You know, if you have, like, that old soul energy, um, you are a fucking magnet to narcissists. And so you have to protect yourself. Like, get yourself an onk. <laughs> like, don't let them fuck with you, bro. Um, man, as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna do a fucking prayer for you, right? Like, this is intense. You will be free, though. You guys open doors, right? You got this. Um, dude, honestly, if this story resonates with you, please hit me up. Um, and let me know that it resonates with you because, uh, I could give you further insight on how to walk away from this. Um, or get away from it. Get them to walk away, if need be. Um, because you're a motherfucking emperor and you don't deserve that shit, right? And I do see movement. I do see movement from this situation here. So, you ain't got shit to worry about. You will be fine. Right out that storm. Got your back. <laughs> anyway, um... 
yes. Let me know if you need anything. I can help guide you through this process. Uh, one of my many things about me is I love psychology, so I know how to escape narcissistic situations. Um, I also know how to get stuck in them. <laughs> Uh, so sometimes you have to know how to get stuck in them to know how to escape them and then you learn how to maneuver the situation so then you're no longer a prisoner of it, right? So you're no longer a prisoner of the narcissist. The narcissist is now a prisoner within, or like, with you. <laughs> He's like, you know, they're stuck in there with you, not the other way around. And they don't know how powerful an empath can be, you know? Activate the heart chakra. Uh, you'll feel it. It's like when you feel your heart get a little bit of anxiety, but it's not like bad anxiety. It's like excited anxiety, like that heightened emotion kind of feeling. Let, let yourself feel that, right? And then you push all your manifestations through it. Like somebody starts fucking with you, you activate that. You make yourself, hype yourself up on the inside, right? And it's to the point where you just create, like, an energetic fucking barrier. Like, and they're like, I mean, you don't even have to show it on your face. Just barriers up. Goodbye. <laughs> you know? Uh, you fucking 